For radii. Here's your transition metals. First, second, third column. These are equal when you go down the column, and this one is smaller. So these were equal and larger. So the only unusual thing about this is you wouldn't expect the fifth row to be like that, or the 5D. I guess I should say sixth row, the 5D is to be equal to the middle one, but the reason is the lanthanide contraction. Following probably won't make sense, but F electrons are poor at shielding. We learned this in chapter 9. Because they're poor at shielding, they, uh, the electrons experience the full nuclear charge as the previous group, or the previous row. Because of that, it, it contracts. So that's the reason, if you're interested. Uh, these have F electrons, and so that's where the contraction happens. What you need to know is that if I compare basically along a row, or along a column, or columns next to each other, this one's smaller, these are larger. You can't really compare this to like way over here in the middle, uh, because as you go across the row in the transition metals, it looks like a U. So in fact, uh, these are a little smaller, and these are a little bigger on the outsides, and the ones in the middle are a little smaller. So let's try a little question here. Let me get out the periodic table. If you have your own, you can follow along. Let's just do a couple examples. Which one's smaller? Vandium, the vanadium. Vanadium is smaller. Why? <laughs> because it's up at the top. They are in different columns, but they're relatively near each other, within two or three of each other, so you can't compare them. Versus rhenium and, uh, let's do uh, rhodium. Which one's smaller? They're effectively the same size, because they're pretty close on the periodic table as far as the columns. Uh, and they're in the second and the third row, so they're effectively the same size. Yeah? So, if they're in the same rows, then it's just, they're in the same size. Or if they're in the two and three rows? Within two or three, maybe four uh, of each other, uh, they're going to be the same size if they're in the 4D or 5D uh, row. That's true, yes. So, for example, zirconium is about the same size as lanthanum, half, uh, hafnium, uh, I forgot the name of that one, and tungsten. Uh, or you could say like iridium is about the same size as ruthenium, rhodium, and palladium, for example. However, cobalt is smaller than ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, osmium, iridium, platinum. Does that make sense? Doesn't matter. Or you could say... Iridium is bigger than iron, cobalt, and nickel. Could iridium be bigger or be the same as platinum? Or does it iridium and platinum. Yeah, uh, essentially, it's going to get, as it goes away from the middle, they're going to get bigger. So, but effectively, now we definitely, osmium is smaller than mercury. When they're close to each other, it's a little hard to tell. But... Osmium and iridium probably approximately the same size, maybe iridium's a little bigger. So does that kind of make sense how this works? Okay, that'll be like, that's like a multiple choice question. Pick the one that's true. You'll see, I have one or something practice exam that I know I have an incorrect, something's incorrect in there. I'll have to find it later. Yeah? So would zirconium and silver be the same size because they're equal distance from each other? Zirconium and silver. Are they the same size? Uh, not totally, because the U is unsymmetric. Okay. So the, it does look like a U, but it's kind of like this kind of U. So not totally. I mean, you could probably guess that zirconium and uh, silver is about the same size, but I think one's going to be a little bit bigger. I forgot which way the U is slanted. But yeah, it is slanted. So I couldn't ask you something like that. But in fact, yeah, they're in the ballpark of each other. 
Anything else is radio.